What's up guys, in this video I will show you how to download and install third party apps that are not on your Samsung TV app store into your Samsung Smart TV and use it on the TV. Now in my case over here, I currently do not have access to certain apps on my Samsung Smart TV. For instance, I can get the DSTV app or the Showmax app on my Samsung Smart TV and this is basically because some of these applications are restricted by region on the TV. So basically, I'll be showing you how to change the region of your Samsung Smart TV, whether you have the newer model of Samsung Smart TV or the older model, this should work perfectly well for you. And by changing the region of any Samsung Smart TV you have, we should be able to download and install third-party apps that will typically not be available on the Samsung Smart TV App Store into the TV, even though those applications are not available on the Samsung TV App Store for your current region. Now to do this, first things first, you have to make sure that your Samsung Smart TV is connected to the internet and once that is done, you want to scroll horizontally using your Samsung TV remote, just scroll from the home of the TV to this settings icon over here, over here. Now you want to scroll over to the top and then navigate horizontally until you get to the device care option. You can literally see the device care option over here, so go ahead and select it. And once the device care launches, you want to scroll down and click on the save diagnosis option at the bottom over here. Now at this point, you want to reset the smart hub of your Samsung Smart TV. So basically, you want to scroll over to the reset smart hub option, select it. Now proceed to enter the pin of your Samsung Smart TV, which is basically zero in four places. So I'll just go ahead and enter zero, 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 zero. And now your Samsung Smart TV should automatically start resetting the smart hub of the TV. Now this will allow you to be able to change the region of your Samsung Smart TV as well. So basically what you want to do at this point is to go ahead and press on the home button on your remote control. And now you'll be taken to this page. You want to scroll over to the top and then click on the setup option. And once you get to this terms and conditions page on your Samsung Smart TV, you want to proceed to press on some key combinations on your remote control. So basically on your Samsung Smart TV remote, you want to go ahead and press on the mute button, which is basically this button over here on the remote control. Then you press on the volume up button, the channel up button, and then the mute button again. So I'll go ahead and press on mine, the mute button, the volume up button, the channel up button, and then the mute button again. Now this should automatically bring up the internet service location of your Samsung Smart TV. So basically you want to go ahead and select the country where you want all of your apps on your Samsung Smart TV to come from. In my case, I'll go ahead and select South Africa over here so I can be able to download and install apps like the DSTV apps and the Showmax apps that are available in that country. So I'll go ahead and find South Africa and select it. So you can literally see the South African country over here. I'll go ahead and select it just like so. And automatically the terms and conditions page is going to refresh again. I'll go ahead and click on I agree to all by just clicking on the OK button and then click on OK. And at this point, you have to sign into your Samsung Smart TV account. So I'll go ahead and scan the QR code on the TV and then open up this QR code link on the browser. Now you can go ahead and sign into your Samsung TV account by just clicking on the sign in button over here. And once you successfully sign into your Samsung account, your Samsung Smart TV should automatically be signed in as well. Now what you just want to do is to go ahead and click on the next button. And at this point, you can skip this whole process by just clicking on skip. Now go ahead and click on skip again. And then just click on the skip button over here. Click on done. And at this point, we can go over to the App Store of our Samsung Smart TV and download any third-party app or APK that we are actually looking for and is available for that particular country into our Samsung Smart TV. So take for instance, if I go over to the App Store of my Samsung Smart TV now, you can now see that we have the DSTV app that I was actually looking for to install into my Samsung Smart TV. And obviously this particular app was not available before on the TV. Now this is not just for the DSTV app. If you're looking for any app at all, say like the Disney Plus app, Paramount Plus, any app at all you're looking for on your Samsung Smart TV, just go ahead and change the internet service location just as I have changed it in this particular video to a country where that particular application is available and you should be able to install that third party app into to your Samsung Smart TV without any issue. Over here, you can as well see that we now have the Showmax app, which was also not available initially on my Samsung Smart TV. So basically, that is how to download and install third-party apps that are not on the Samsung 
tv app store into the tv if you find this video useful please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this youtube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one